Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of those. And what we need to do is we're going to hit F8 and we're going to grab these guys and we're going to combine these back together. Okay, like so. And then I'm just going to nip on the inside here. And I'm going to display uh, border edges. Uh, as you can see there, you can see that the uh, edges of our mesh have become thicker. And this basically means that the, uh, the two... Uh, the vertices that are there or meeting or the two meshes aren't actually joined together so what you need to do is select your vertices and merge those together so you go down to merge and then once we do the next one you'll see those gradually disappear you can do it globally um, which means you'll just have to adjust uh, the tolerance in the merge menu to a low uh, tolerance or a low fall off rather uh, so you don't merge too many points at once or uh, unwanted uh, points as well. Okay, so I'm just going to merge those. That's done. Okay, and I'm just going to show last hidden, which is those. Okay, and I'm just going to hide the unselected stuff again, so we can do one at a time, and uh, you can see what we need to do. So here you can see the uh, finger itself is quite clearly. Uh, just slightly out of shape. I'm just going to move these verts over a little bit just to give a bit more form to those. And just going to move these ones across a little bit extreme there. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on wireframe for shaded so we can see where we've got to snap our points to. And I'm just using the V key and the middle mouse button to do this. Okay, like so and again for the top part so using V middle mouse button and it's just going to snap to where I want it to like that okay so again um, I'm going to go F8 on the keyboard select both meshes and we're going to hit combine okay so that one like that that's done that one's done those are done and those are done so it's a pretty straightforward process Just you just have to repeat yourself a couple more times so I'm going to do that now so if you'll excuse the silence it's just me getting on with that ok I'm just going to shape out some form as well just to get these fingers looking right and we're just going to move that one across as well just to balance that out Okay, so I think we could also scale that inwards as well. So it's going to just so that matches up with the other parts as well. So that's looking pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to go and show last hidden. I'm just going to scale this guy in as well and we'll do the same with the pinky and again hide the unselected stuff I'm just going to delete some history as well so we don't run into any problems ok so just going to combine and again vertex and I'm just going to snap all the points together Okay, and again, just going to merge everything that we've got. Oh, this one out there. Okay, so those guys there. Okay, so it's one of those things that can happen. Okay, that's better. So again, just going to go around. So you just have to be a little bit careful like I wasn't just there and otherwise you can end up snapping somewhere else completely ok so just going to merge these up now that's better 
Okay, that's good. Okay, so I'm just going to move this over. And we'll do the same here. Okay, so I just want to move those points back just a little bit there, just to balance that out a bit more. Okay, and show last hidden. So all we have to do now is get our pinky into place. And again, polygons, combine. And then again, all we've got to do is just snap the mesh to itself. As you may notice, we haven't got the uh, poly split up there. Uh, that's because we are going to run some geometry just around there before we uh, carry on and merge everything together. So, I'm just going to grab the split edging tool and then we can go back and grab the points from the pinky and now snap those to the areas on the hand itself when that's done. So just going to merge those points again. There we go. Okay. So all we need to do now is just tune those up, okay, like so. So, okay, and again, just want to get everything formed up. So we're almost done. Just going to start to shape the hand now a little bit more, and then we'll join up the rest of the geometry uh, from those edges that we had earlier that we created. Okay. Okay, so now what we can do is grab our split poly tool and we can just finish this off to the edges there and do the same with this one here and this one here might need a little bit of a, a juggle so we're going to try and keep all of this running as a four-sided object as possible I'll leave that, that like that for a minute just while uh, we sort this all out. And just going to move these about a bit as well. And I'm just going to put these all the way across. So I'm just going to have a look at this. 